Alright. Uh, I'm just going to showcase the first level of my first Super Mario World hack. It's the only one I've been working on, but I've been working on it through the entire levels, uh, like all of them. I started at the first level, Yoshi's House, and I've gone all the way to the second Special World level. And I've done every single one in between. So that's about like 80 or so levels, and each one I've learned more and more about this editor. I've gotten quite good. Uh, I call it a Boo Edition. It's just an inside joke between my family, mostly my brothers. Um, I just made my own little title screen. It has nothing to do with anything. It's just to prove that, you know, you're getting into something different. It's, you know... I'm not going to release this publicly. This is only for my brother and pretty much myself. It's an experiment the whole way through, but it's a very fun hobby. Um, oh, can't get the moon. Oh, teaser. All right, well, let's go into it. I'm going to start at C, which is empty. I've misplaced my phone because I'm at the time at 10 minutes here. But yeah, I made my custom little uh, intro here. Yeah, welcome to Boo Land. No, not the ghosts, but a particular group of mischievous frogs and the like, Plenty for Evil. Yeah, the boos are basically just frog-like creature things. That's all you gotta know. I mean, it's just an inside joke, like I said. But yeah, I learned how to do that, and it's a random, spacey-looking thing. And I didn't make a new custom overworld. That's extremely complicated. I need to sit down and do it. I really want to learn how to do that, because that would be awesome. But I know it's very, very strict, and kind of unforgiving. If you mess up and it might, and you accidentally save it, it's there. So Let's go to the first level I ever made called Pipe Vaulting. Now this is just me placing random stuff into the level, and I don't change the tile set I didn't know how to. But I put a little message block in there, work your way to the top of each obstacle in order to bypass each tile pipe. Sweet. Well, let me get a, let me uh, throw a save. I'm just gonna grab one because I just need one. I'll grab six and seven actually, I'll grab two. Anyway, um, yeah. What I did is I made it skinny pipes that you have to vault over or get over and you have to get through an obstacle each time to get to the top of one, so there you go. Um, first, let's get to the secret. There's a piece which up here, you jump on that Koopa to get enough momentum and you, well, let's get the get Dragon Coin first. Yoink. And then you hit this piece switch. These disappear, you go down, and I work with secondary exits already, and I froze. Fuck. Well, uh, as you can see, I've been working really, really hard on this, and I've made custom music and stuff, and some of it kind of destroyed the first parts of the levels. As you can see, apparently that secondary exit is a little bugged, and I can, I can probably remember why, but whatever. Um... In any case, uh, it doesn't matter too much to me. I, like I said, this is an entire experiment, and only the the most current levels matter in terms of my, from a brother. Uh, once I get done with this hack, which I'm starting to get ready to get done with, but I still have a few tricks up my sleeves, and I'm not gonna just. I'm definitely gonna get to the end. I only got like six more levels to work on, but um. I want to make a new hack that's for casual people that I want to re release to the public. Um, like this level, as you can see, is way too hard for a first level. Like, holy shit. Like, I want my levels to be, you know, jump on a Koopa, maybe one pit, and, you know, no crazy platforming until, like, you know, World 6 or something, you know? But I need to make my own custom overworld first, so I'll be working on the overworld. So there'll probably be a really shortage of levels after I'm done with this, after I'm done with Boo World. Like this, these jumps are a little unforgiving, if you ask me. And you can blindly hardly see these sprites. And the problem with these these gray question mark, these gray uh, flying blocks, is that they're not objects; they're sprites. And basically, sprites work very very finicky sometimes in Mario Brothers. Uh, it might not appear in the screen. Like, you know, on NES games, if you get off the screen and you go back, the same enemy would appear again. It's kind of like that, but sometimes it won't be there because it's off the screen. But yeah. I somehow made it over there. Got my firepower. This is the last obstacle. To, well, actually, this is the second to last obstacle to Pipe Vault. Do my dragon coins. I've probably missed them already. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have. Little puzzle here. Oh, which one should you grab? Don't get those coins, that's for sure, right? Alright. But yeah, this is the very first level. I mean, this is the same day I started even, like, I just discovered Lunar Magic, which is the editor I use. 
and I made this level, so. Jump. I'll give you a clue that you need to keep holding right. Grab. Screw the dragon coin. I want my one-ups. Now, this is a tricky jump because you got to almost slow down. I'll probably fall, but that's why I'm saving like a mother effer. Oh, I made it. Oh, God. I got to quit saving. It's like freezing. <laughs> I say too much sometimes. Oh, boy. All right. Too many save states, right? Yeah. Okay, then it leads to the Switch Palace, if you recall, on the original overworld, because nothing's changed on the overworld except for the music of the special world. Um, Beibu's Cheezums. Yeah, that's just it's inside joke. Beibu's a hog, and he has his Cheezums, and these are supposed to be some sort of Cheezums, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's just uh, playing around with the Switch Palace. Custom, well, changing the color of the background, although I did that wrong. I, I actually made every single background now that uses the same tile set as this one is yellow. So I had to go back and change that. But now I know that all you have to do is check the use custom palette check mark. And <laughs> that took a while, though. I mean, it takes this. It's, it's, it's just like any other game editor you'd think. It's pretty, it's, it's involving, but it's really fun. I, I, it's really fun to, to learn. Had a lot of trouble and. A lot of annoyances, but I think, you know, I'm getting the hang of it pretty good. Change the music up, and I use a layer 2, believe it or not, layer 2 background here. So I use objects that you originally, these are donor bridges, actually, that you could originally jump on, but you can't now because they're just layer 2 images. Layer 2 is acting as a background image, and I hurt myself. Um, it's a bit of a tricky jump, yeah, you got to hit that and shorten it out, and then you got to time this until this goes back to normal, and then jump onto this. Watch out for the pro the little. I wanted to give it like I didn't want to just you know, hey, grab my switch. I wanted it different. Now you gotta jump around this. You can't just hug it. There you go. Cheese blocks are now available. Yep. I'm not really sure how you keep the how, how they keep that image in there. All it shows is that it's just a period. But if you put a period in any other message, it doesn't show the block. So I'm not sure how they detect that. But I just don't erase that period when I try to modify it. Sure, let's save it. Hell yeah. All right. Try to show you. Uh, take off. This is the first level. If you don't want to get the ch the uh, cheese and blocks, which you have to eventually. Um, as you can see, this you, I started with Mario not on the screen. It's because I was not. I did not learn how to properly do um, initial camera positions yet. But that gets fixed later on. I just want to make this level really short and simple. I mean, well, <laughs> yeah, I say that and then I die, right? Uh, but anyway, um, oh god, oh god, um, oh Jesus, all right, oh Jesus again. Okay, fine. Anyway, um, simple in terms of boo work. This is definitely the easiest level, even though I'm dying more than pipe vaulting, but. It's because I'm just trying to race through it, and I shouldn't. Yeah, it's just, you know, jump over enemies, run, jump over me. Grab some coins, and... Grab a cape while you're at it, and then... Watch out for the flying guys, and I'm going to try to get the secret. No, I'm going to try to get it. There we go. Got it. 3-1-up three, three moon. Pretty secret. Actually, pretty hard to do if you don't safe state like that, like I am doing there you go. 27 stars bonus. Holy shit. Fuck. And I try to do a little trick out. Oh, I'm going to drop. Nah, you're fine. Um, uh, next time I'm going to continue with Boneyard Eclipse. I'm going to go to the first castle and then maybe show other showcases of uh, the cooler levels or the more levels where I actually started learning to do stuff. I'm not going to just walk through the entire thing because some of these are just repetitive. Well, repetitive for me because I've made them. So, alright, see you all next time.